to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Louis Lombardi, the Senior Vice President and Regional Commercial Executive for Fulton Bank. Louis, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So we're going to be talking a lot about how the pandemic has shaped our economy to create new business norms, new business strategies, new operations that will last us into the future. But before we go there, I wanted to start by asking you, are there any new personal norms that you started during the pandemic that you'll be carrying with you into the future? Any new interests or hobbies or technologies that you're using? Okay, yeah, thank you, Abby, for the question. Um, yeah, so the pandemic certainly had us do a big reset and uh, I've been wanting to spend more time reading. I have four young children, so they kind of take a little my difficult. free time away. <laughs> but I did get back to reading, which was great. Uh, definitely spent more time outdoors and that's going to stick. I know we're going to do more of that. I took my, my son's uh, hiking in the Adirondacks. We're going to keep doing that Ooh. kind of thing. Um, and then also just in general, how I manage my time. Uh, the pandemic allowed us to really get a good handle on what a healthy balance mm. in terms of time management looks like. And I'm planning to make sure that that sticks around. Indeed. The, in PVP rounds one and two, Fulton Bank uh, granted 10,000 loans. Uh, which totaled $2 billion. In an industry where change and regulation comes slow at best, what did uh, the rapid adoption to the PPP legislation reveal to you about your bank and the industry overall? Yeah, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that uh, PPP was one of the biggest experiments in modern history of business banking. Um, it really showed what we're capable of as an industry, uh, how quickly we can mobilize our entire workforce into a single mission, um, how quickly we can create new processes, deploy new technology, and then train all of our employees on those processes and new technology. Um, it also showed how important it is to have IT and data people mm -hmm. who really understand our business. Um, so aside from being there to support millions of businesses during a time of need, uh, the industry really learned a lot from PPP. And how has the successful adaptation and execution of the, this program reshaped Fulton Bank's business plans and focus moving forward? Yeah, sure. As a result of PPP, we got better at managing large scale projects at the enterprise level. Uh, we learned how to leverage the skills of all the departments across the bank to get a lot of work done in a very short period of time. And we did all that while making sure that we created a positive customer experience. It also taught us when and how to leverage the skills and capabilities of third parties. Hmm. Um, for a project like PPP that was so large, uh, there was just a need to, to pull in certain third parties here and there uh, to make sure that we can pull it off timely, effectively. And uh, we got really good at, at figuring out when and how to plug in third parties. It was also a moment uh, when our culture shined through. Hmm. Uh, at Fulton, we are collaborative. We work as a team, we're inclusive. And we really needed to lean on everyone to pull it off. Um, so in short, you know, PPP, the entire experience, it's given us a lot of confidence in our ability to successfully pull off large enterprise-wide projects quickly. And that's going to serve us well in the fast-changing environment that we're in today. With the ongoing disruptive uh, disruption to the global supply chain, uh, paired with the reopening of the economy on such a massive scale, the idea that we'll see a level of inflation and higher interest rates uh, is a real possibility. How are, are you preparing your operations as well as your clientele for these impending issues? Yeah, so I think the first part of that first in terms of how the bank is preparing our operations, um, we're always monitoring interest rate exposure, uh, where rates are moving. We have entire departments whose job it is to protect the bank from interest rate shocks. Um, but the second part of that, I like to focus on you know, how we're dealing with it as it relates to our clients. Um, the most important thing we can do is to know our customers really well. And that means talking to our clients about the issues that, that they're facing. At Fulton, we go through great lengths to make sure our relationship managers have the resources available hmm. to educate themselves on these industry trends. Uh, and when I say industry trends, it's across all industries, if you're talking about uh, a medical equipment manufacturer or a distribution company or a construction company. We really need to understand the trends in these industries and then our bankers uh, can help walk our clients through what might be coming down the road. And uh, we share all this research with our clients and it helps drive conversations about 
you know, where their business is headed. And that's whether we're talking about inflation or supply chain issues, um, you know, to take interest rates, for example, mm -hmm. and talking about inflation. Uh, if we start talking about that, often that leads to a conversation around how we can help them hedge uh, their interest rate exposure. Sure. If we're talking about supply chain, that might lead to bulk purchasing and mm -hmm. how we can help them from a working capital standpoint. Um, so, you know, when you look at the economy today, it's really important that we stay close to our clients and discuss all the trends that we see, uh, but also listen to them. I mean, they're experiencing th these things real time. They're on the ground. And uh, we certainly have a lot to learn from them as well. In this age of reliance on digital banking and financial platforms, why are traditional banks still relevant and how do you see the bank banking sector continue to evolve against this backdrop? Yeah, no doubt that technology is impacting the banking business uh, every day more and more. We've all seen the obvious changes, you know, from a consumer standpoint in terms of foot traffic through the branches, et cetera. Um, we've seen non-banks, fintech companies specifically, getting into the banking business. Um, so all these trends are only going to continue to accelerate. Wherever we can, we're trying to leverage technology in every facet of the business. Mm. And where we see ourselves being relevant is making banking personal, um, how we build personal relationships with our clients. There's certain aspects of the banking business that's a little bit more transaction focused. And in those areas, we need to continue to leverage uh, technology-based solutions uh, that's only going to continue to accelerate. But where the business is less transactional, more relationship-based, uh, such as dealing with closely held businesses, we're going to continue to see high demand for traditional banking uh, services there. So to be successful, you really got to be on both sides of the equation. Uh, you got to leverage technology hmm. to its fullest, but you also have to be concerned about deepening relationships with your clients so that it is personal and not transactional. And now that we find ourselves in this new landscape, what's next for Fulton Bank and the banking industry overall? Yeah, great question. Um, when I look across the banking landscape today, um, you know, no doubt banks have done a good job in terms of providing services to all clients, but simply serving all businesses is not enough. Uh, we need to reach out. We need to find creative ways to engage with all communities so that all individuals have the same opportunities. Um, at Fold, we have a number of efforts to move this forward in the communities that we serve. Mm. Um, and this is a big emphasis at the bank, but I also see it across the industry as well. Um, secondly, you know, we've all seen an uptick in consolidation in the industry. Yes. And in the past, a regulatory environment, that would largely drive uh, consolidation. But right now it seems that technology is driving consolidation. Um, and when you look at our industry, we're competing more and more regularly with technology companies who are getting into the banking business. Um, and look at the banking industry over the years, uh, it's been slow to change. And the industry is gonna have to do some things very differently and be willing to adapt quicker than ever before. At Fulton, we've invested significantly in systems and software, and those are just must haves you know, these days. More importantly, we've invested in people who are technology experts who also understand the banking business. So having tech savvy leaders within the organization, that's gonna help drive our ability uh, to adapt and stay ahead of the curve. So no matter what we do, I know that at Fulton, we always take a long-term perspective. And when you have a long-term perspective, it allows you to always put the customer in the communities that you serve first and all decisions that we make across the bank. And we do this because we know if we put the customer in the communities we serve first, we'll get better results you know, over the long term. So the other part of this is that we also believe that we always have to be reinvesting in our team. Hmm. That's training, coaching, mentoring, that old adage of you know, happy employees make happy customers who make happy shareholders remains very true today. So you know, our industry is going to have to adapt and adapt quickly. And uh, we have to have the right talent at the organization to uh, be successful long term. Well, thank you again. That was Louis Lombardi, the Senior Vice President and Regional Commercial Executive for Fulton Bank. My name is Abby Maloney, and you've been watching Invest Insights. Thank you, Louis. Thank you very much. Hey, everyone. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on the latest business trends from our knowledgeable experts. 
Be sure to check out the description below for more information on the segment you just watched. Thanks for tuning in.